The Paso Robles Joint Unified School District is moving forward with purchasing some new equipment to protect students, teachers and staff against COVID-19. KSBY News reporter Alexa Bertola breaks it down. There are a lot of new upgrades coming to schools within the Paso Robles Joint Unified School District. Now it's being paid for through CARES Act funds. Paso Robles Joint Unified School District is making some improvements to ensure the safety of those on school campuses during the pandemic. To help disinfect and clean high-risk areas, nine devices will be purchased for a cost of nearly $24,000. For now, they'll be set up in the nurses' offices. And it essentially can be um, plugged in into one of the classrooms or one of the spaces and be left there. Uh, it could be moved if need be to another location. More than 100 tables for outdoor learning will be purchased for nearly $90,000. They'll go to all nine schools in the district. So that uh, staff have an opportunity to ha conduct a class or, or maybe an experiment or, or something of that matter outside. Another priority is increasing indoor air quality and filtration amid the pandemic. Virginia Peterson and Pat Butler Elementary Schools both recently underwent upgrades to HVAC systems for a cost of more than $2.7 million. This also included new roofing at both sites, all paid for through Measure M funds. Meantime, the district office will also be able to control and adjust settings to these systems for a cost of more than $57,000 in CARES Act funds. Future sites for these improvements are still being nailed down by the school board. I think anything they can do to try and like protect our children and our families is really wonderful. Overall, the district received roughly $5.6 million in CARES Act funds. The school district tells me there were four main allocations and there's also deadlines as to when the money needs to be spent. In Paso Robles, Alexa Bertola, KSBY News. Some of the CARES Act funds have already gone to improving technology district-wide, including increasing bandwidth, new Chromebooks, iPads, and hotspots. Other money is being allocated to personal protective equipment.